a warm welcome to all my students hope you all would have done very well in your formative assessment in today's class we shall discuss a chapter from business studies chapter name business and industry children take page number 256 from your textbook in this lesson we shall learn objectives of business meaning and importance of trade and its types already we have learnt about business in the previous lesson that is in components of business studies we have learnt about the meaning of business once again we shall learn the same what do you mean by business business is an important economic activity mainly concerned with production and distribution of goods and services to consumers so what is business it is an important activity important economic activity mainly concerned with production and distribution of goods and services to consumers if you see a business is an organization generally business is an organization or enterprising entity which is engaged in commercial industrial or professional activities so usually a business is a organization or enterprising entity which engaged in which is engaged in commercial industrial or professional activities a business can be for the profit or it can be a non profit organization a business can be a profit organization or non profit organization if you see non profit organization it operates to fulfill the charitable mission to fulfill the charitable mission non profit organizations are functioning here stephenson defines a definition about business let's see what is the definition according to stephenson the regular production or purchase and sale of goods undertaken with an objective of earning profit and acquiring wealth through the satisfaction of human wants what did stephen say business means the regular production or purchase and sale of goods undertaken with an objective of earning profit and acquiring wealth through the satisfaction of human wants children this is one of the important definition you have to be thorough with this now let's move on move on to objectives of business there are two types of objectives they are economic objectives and social objectives the main objective of any business is to earn profit so what are the economic objectives first objective is to earn profit next market withstanding any business they want to withstand in the market second one market standing third innovation or new ideas or new techniques business wants to make innovative ideas with new techniques fourth optimum utilization of resources business wants to utilize their resources at maximum level fifth to improve the productivity so these are the five economic objectives economic objectives are two there are five they are to earn profit to withstand in the market third innovative ideas or new techniques fourth optimum utilization of resources fifth to improve the productivity now let's learn about social objectives so business produces goods and supplies the goods that are required for the development of a nation if you see under the social objectives that is towards a society a business provides quality goods and service at fair price 
So business provides quality goods and service at fair price to its society. Second, avoidance of anti-social and unfair practices. Business aims at avoiding the anti-social and unfair practices. Third, generation of employment. Fourth, employee welfare. By paying them fair wages and salaries and helping the employees to improve their standard of living. Fifth, community service. A business provides community service in the society. It is in the social welfare of the nation by starting and running of schools or colleges, hospitals and also by maintaining public gardens etc. So these are the two objectives that is economic objectives and social objectives are the two objectives of a business. Now let's move on to trade. Children, in the previous lesson, that is in the components of business studies, we have learnt about trade. What do you mean by trade? Trade means buying and selling of goods. If you see, trade is a part of business. It is mainly concerned with buying and selling of goods to the consumers. So what do you mean by trade? It is mainly concerned with buying and selling of goods to the consumers. Trade is divided into two types. They are home trade and foreign trade. Are the home trade? Home trade is further divided into wholesale trade and retail trade. Home trade means the trade within the country. Under home trade, we'll be learning wholesale trade and retail trade. What is foreign trade? Foreign trade means trade among different countries. It is divided into import trade, export trade and entrepreneur trade. Understood? Now, let's learn about the trade. Home trade can also be called as internal trade. Home trade means transfer or exchange of goods within country. What do you mean by home trade? Home trade means transfer or exchange of goods within country and also it is called as internal trade. Foreign trade means trade among different nations. Trade among different nations, it can also be called as external trade. Now let's learn about home trade in detail. So already we have seen there are two types in home trade. In home trade, we have learned two trades. They are Wholesale trade and retail trade. So what are home trade? The purchase and sale of goods inside the country is called home trade. Which can also be known as internal trade, domestic trade or local trade. So what do you mean by home trade? The purchase and sale of goods inside the country is called home trade. Also known as domestic trade, local trade or internal trade. Now, let's discuss about retail trade. Under the retail trade, there are two types. They are itinerant retailers or mobile traders. Second, fixed shop retailers or permanent shops. Under itinerant retailers, we have hawkers and peddlers, street traders and market traders. If you see under permanent shops or fixed shop retailers, we have small scale retailers and large scale retailers. So if you see the permanent shops, they are opened at a fixed place and carry out their trade. If you see itinerant retailers, they do not have a fixed place to carry on their trade. The important mobile traders are hawkers, peddlers, street traders or vendors and market vendors or market sellers. Children, now let's learn in detail about 
itinerant or mobile traders under this we have hawkers and peddlers street traders and market sellers hawkers they carry goods on their heads move from door to door and sell their goods they generally sell one or two types of goods for example vegetables fruits flowers etc next about peddlers they carry their goods on wheeled carts and sell them to the consumer at their doors they generally sell more than one type of goods next street traders they display goods in busy street corners or on pavements and sell them to the consumers so street traders are the retailers who sell goods at footpath and most populated areas and the last one is market sellers or market traders so these traders are used to sell in the weekly markets so weekly markets take place at the villages or towns once in a week different traders take their goods to these markets and sell them to their consumers another speciality if you see here these weekly markets is that the surrounding villages bring their goods which they have grown or produced and used to sell in this market for example vegetables eggs agricultural implements agricultural products blankets etc with the money they get they buy their requirements at some places yearly fairs take place and here too the traders gather and sell the products to the consumers so market traders used to sell their goods at open places for example weekly markets or yearly fairs now let's learn about wholesale trade wholesale means to sell goods relatively in large quantities the wholesalers used to buy goods and commodities in large quantities from the manufacturers for the purpose of further selling them in small quantities to the retailers government agencies professional users or a group but not to final consumers so wholesale trade in this wholesale people wholesale traders what they used to do they used to buy the goods for further selling they used to sell it to the retailers or government agencies or professional users or to a group but not to final consumers wholesale traders buy goods in large quantity from producers and sell them to the retailers in small quantities generally they deal with one or two types of goods they help the retailers in many ways such as supplying goods to the retailers in small quantities whenever they require they provide credit facility to the retailers they used to advertise for goods on behalf of the retailers they also provide storage facility for goods now did you understand about the wholesale trade children now let's move on to foreign trade the trade between two countries is called foreign trade what do you mean by foreign trade the trade between two countries is called foreign trade or foreign trade is nothing but trade between the different countries of the world we can say foreign trade is nothing but trade between the different countries of the world it it is also called as international trade external trade or interregional trade we can call this foreign trade as international trade external trade or interregional trade it can be classified into three they are import trade export trade and entrepot trade import trade refers to a country buying goods from other countries for its use or the inflow of goods in a country is called import trade so what do you mean by import trade we can refer it as a country buying goods from other countries for its use 
So import trade means the inflow of goods into a country is called import trade. Export trade means the outflow of goods from a country is called export trade. Export trade refers to countries selling its goods to other countries for others use means for other countries use. Next entrepot trade. It refers to buying of goods from one country with a view to sell it to other countries. So many times if you see goods are imported from the purpose of re-export after some processing operations. This is called entrepot trade. So what do you mean by entrepot trade? Entrepot trade refers to buying of goods from one country with a view to re-export after some processing operations to other countries. For example, Singapore and Middle East Asian countries are the best example for entrepot trade. Nowadays, many countries carry out this entrepot trade. Now, let's move on to need for foreign trade. Why do we need foreign trade? Foreign trade. If you see, no country in the world is self-sufficient in all the natural resources. Some countries have plenty of natural resources. So if they have plenty of natural resources, using the available natural resources, they produce more goods than they require and the excess is exported to other countries. And at the same time, if you see, some countries have Deficit of some natural resources and they are dependent on other countries for their requirement. In such cases, they used to import the resources from other countries. Thus, there is a great need for foreign trade. To import the goods that are not produced domestically. So, which cannot be produced domestically or is where there is any deficit of some natural resources. The country used to import. To export the goods that are produced over and above the domestic requirements. So when there is excess of natural resources, what the country used to do? After their requirement, whichever is there, they used to export to other countries. So this foreign trade encourages foreign direct investment and also builds Friendship among the countries. So these are the need of foreign trade. So as to import which are not produced domestically. So as to export which are produced over above the domestic requirements. To encourage the foreign direct investment to build the resource gap. And as well as to foster the friendship among the countries. Children, in today's class, we have learnt about objectives of business, trade and types of trade. They are home trade and foreign trade. Under home trade, we learnt about retail and wholesale trade. Under retail trade, we learnt about permanent shops and itinerant traders. Under itinerant traders, we learnt hawkers, peddlers, street traders and market sellers. And in foreign trade, we learnt Three types of foreign trade, they are import, export and entrepot. And finally, we learnt about need for foreign trade. Children, I hope you would have understood this lesson. I'll be posting the homework and the notes. You have to complete the notes of this lesson. As I have told you, in this chapter, Three topics have been omitted because of the COVID. They are industries, types of industries, hindrances of business trade and industry and business ethics. So only few part we are learning in this lesson. I'll be mentioning in the notes which to be completed. Those question and answers as well as the different mains like multiple choice questions you have to write it down in your workbook and I'll be mentioning 
which are the days you are supposed to submit the workbook and homework accordingly you have to submit it to me thank you children